Hey everyone, Fear Crawler here. Welcome to the video. Mini Crawler and I were just using this homemade Ouija board here to contact spirits from the great beyond. In fact, we're going to demonstrate that for you right now. U S U K Usuk. What the heck is Usuk? Hey, wait a minute. Were you pushing it, Buster? Not to your knowledge. There is no way spirits are such terrible spellers, mister. Enjoy the video. In my house, we have one Ouija board in my dusty old attic and we tend to get it out on Halloween for decoration purposes. We never really used it and on the occasion that we did, we were all disappointed that we could never reach over and contact any spirit on the other side. I never really believed in ghosts or demons, and to me the world is a simple formula of biological organisms that live and then die. Then our dead bodies rot and decay till we're nothing but dust. I have a bleak view of the world. In the end we all turn to dust, and some creatures may last longer like rats and maggots. But they too will all die. Death is such an interesting topic, and I'm not sure how long humans have lived on this planet, but death has always been something of a question mark. Even the most intelligent of humans couldn't even begin to answer on death's nature, philosophically speaking. Anyhow, it was on the day I had been left to look after my house while my wife took our kids to their grandparents. I don't tend to get the house all to myself, and when I was tidying the house up, I saw the Ouija board in my eldest boy's room and he must have gotten it out secretly and started playing with it. I picked it up and just observed how stupid it looked. I decided to give it a go myself, and I used a glass cup which was going to act as my pointer on the Ouija board. I spoke out loud in the air, and still in my son's bedroom. All of his toys and childish interior started to have this menacing feel to it. Then I could feel heat coming from the glass cup and it actually moved to a letter. It then moved to another letter, and the word read, Hello. I couldn't believe it, and I was just thinking whether I was being fooled or maybe my wife had set me up. Maybe she hadn't taken the kids to their grandparents, but organized this whole prank to be recorded and to be put up on YouTube. I got up and shouted, Very funny, guys. I know I'm being pranked again. But then I could easily tell that I wasn't being pranked. I mean, I may have been pranked before, and this did not feel like a prank. It felt real. I went back to the Ouija board with the glass cup in my hand and I started asking multiple questions like, How did you die? What time era did you come from? And the obvious question, What's the afterlife like? Then I could feel heat coming from the glass cup again, and it started to move. And the words it chose really confused me because of what it said when the words made a sentence, which read, We are not dead. And this was an unusual reply because the Ouija board is only used to contact the dead. Then the glass cup was moving on its own again, and I was recording the letters on paper. The second sentence read, we have a much longer lifespan compared to you humans. At this point, I was excited as well as completely dumbfounded because the words you expect from Ouija board are things like death, hell, Satan, possession, and other religious supernatural terms. I then asked my replier, why are you communicating with me? The glass cup got hotter, and the words it chose to tell me something really unnerved me. It read, We are studying you. I then asked why. The glass cup moved again, and the sentence read, So we can prepare to experiment on your kind. We come from another galaxy. At this point, the glass cup was too hot to touch, and it broke into many pieces. The Ouija board itself burned up, and I quickly put it out. Observing back on my first time experience using the Ouija board, it didn't feel like I was talking to anyone that was dead, or to some demon in another dimension. 
it felt like I was communicating with actual aliens who had advanced technology. I guessed to myself that the reason why the glass heated up as well as the Ouija board must be because of the communication signal the aliens were using to communicate with me. I got another Ouija board, but nothing was happening. And I kept on trying to communicate with the aliens, but absolutely everything was silence. Then one day, I heard a thump noise coming from my son's room, and both me and my wife ran in. He wasn't in his room, but the Ouija board was present, and I could feel heat coming from it. We called the police and every other authority to help us find our son, but only I knew what must have really happened. As my wife swirled into depression, I secretly used the Ouija board to try and communicate with my son. I suspected that he had been abducted by the aliens when he decided to play around with it. I was grateful when the aliens finally communicated with me after a long time, and I asked them about my son. All they would reply to me on the Ouija board were the following words. Experiment on human boy complete. I had no idea what that meant. One day, I decided to call out to my boy to see if he was with the aliens. And it was the happiest day of my life when my boy finally communicated back with me through the Ouija board. I'm glad you're alive. What did they do to you? I shouted in the air in my son's room. The words he chose made every hair on my neck stand up. I'm replying to you from the afterlife. You see... My son did not survive whatever experiment the aliens did to him. Okay, I give up. There is no way it's possible to contact aliens with this thing. What the heck was that? I don't know. I'll go check it out. Two things. One, I love you. And two, I think we have to move. Can I drive the car? Sure. 